Schoology Tips and Tricks. Tip number 24, discussion boards. I never like to make assumptions, so even though some of you ha may have been using Schoology for a very long time, maybe you have never created a discussion board for your students. So that is what I'm going to show you in this video. In the Add Materials area, you have Add Discussion as an option here. Um, and I have one ready to go and I'm just going to hit edit. So when you go in to add a discussion, um, you are going to put a title. You can put as deep of a description as you want for your students. Um, you have all of these editing details just like you do for everything else in Schoology, including the ability to add images and media um, to your description. Down at the bottom, you can add a file. You can add a link. You can add a resource. You can even do an audio or video recording into your discussion post as much as you want to do or as basic as you want to do. Uh, you set a due date. You can enable grading for a discussion board. Uh, post. It does not have to be graded. If you do enable grading, you'll notice some new boxes just popped up on how much is it, um, if it's just collected or not. Um, you set a category, all the things that you do when you have anything graded. I'm just going to turn that off for now. Down at the bottom, you have a couple other things under options. You can individually assign a discussion board. So where, again, we have talked about creating um, grading groups within your course, you can individually assign a discussion board to different grading groups if you would like to. So if you want to modify a discussion board so that your um, your L's are doing a discussion board at the same time as everybody else, but you have modified the content for those L's um, and it doesn't make them stand out as not doing what everybody else is doing because you have a modified discussion book post for those students. Um, you can individually assign. When you want to turn off the discussion po post, you can lock it as I showed in a previous video on locking assignments. Um, published. The biggie here is the little guy at the end where you can decide members can see other responses before participating. If you turn this off, now it requires members to post before revealing other responses. Um, so this is pretty powerful. If you do not want your students to see what other students have posted to get ideas from um, before they post their own response, you can toggle this so that they have to post before they see anybody else's responses. So if you know that your students are going to have some similar responses and you don't want your um, students to maybe just like mimic what somebody else has already posted, you can take this avenue and toggle this option so that they only see their classmates' responses after they have responded. And then you would just save your changes. And when your students come in, uh, they're going to see um, the title, the description, again, as long as it goes. And then they would have an area down here where they can post their responses. Um, and you would be able to toggle between courses, um, sections of, cor of your course, and you can also go down and see your students. So who has submitted is up here, who has not submitted is down at the bottom, and then you can see all of the responses um, below. If this were a graded discussion post, there would also be a spot over here to enter a grade for that response. Uh, discussion boards are a really great way for your students to collaborate and talk with each other in that digital environment.